People who have a discernibly large-ishly considerable amount of history with this channel will know that I frequently find myself enjoying math. Three and a half years ago, I promised to calculate the weight of Wreck-It Ralph. I often only discuss physics when I can pair it up with another video that will be underviewed as well, unless of course it's my annual holiday special. Today, I am following up on yet another years old promise, and Ralph is gonna get got. I'm posting this alongside a parody video celebrating 700,000 subscribers. Both are very short videos because I'm taking 25% of what a normal person might consider a break. Give it time. Hello, I am the Theorizer, and this will just be a quick little video to keep the math people tied over. Until this Christmas, where I will most likely revise my first Home Alone theory if the reboot still isn't out yet. So, Wreck-It Ralph, how does one go about calculating his weight with math? What is the necessity of this to the lore? None. I just need an answer. Ralph claims to be 9 feet tall and 643 pounds, but in his game, when you're playing it, he isn't that. The arcade machine would collapse. This is good for mathematical comparisons in the games, but from the gamer's perspective? Well, we can calculate the weight of his sprite. This could help us with future physics and how to go about translating from game screen to game world. Those who've seen my Matrix theory will know we're going to have to do exactly the reverse of what I did there. Ralph is claimed to be an 8-bit character, and what I did was calculate, count, and estimate the rough number of pixels he takes up per position. After calculating the area of the image I was using, using a ruler on my laptop screen, and subtracting the negative area of various symmetrically mirrored trapezoids and triangles, I settled on 1938 pixels. Did you know that if you divide the pixels by the number of possible colors in its resolution, you can get the space it takes up? Yes. For example, our 1938 pixels divided by 2 to the power of 8-bit equals Ralph's file size. 7.6 megabytes! Chunky little Ralph. Megabytes are around a thousand kilobytes, which are a thousand bytes, which are around eight bits. Always, always. Converting it down, Ralph is almost 61 million bits. They say on average there are 40,000 electrons in a bit, and bits are just nicknames for binary digits. Whenever you look at binary, around 50% of the time you'll see a zero or a one. The ones are the active elements of the binary. This means we could, theoretically, divide the bit count in half and get the number of electrons powering Ralph here. Either way, that'll barely make a dent in the end. You know where I'm going with this? Maybe. Electrons weigh 911 tenamilograms, an unofficial prefix used for today's purposes. If you multiply that mass by our other calculation, you get Ralph's weight, 1.108 times 10 to the negative 18 kilograms, aka 1.1 femtograms, about 18 zeros before the number. Let us compare what that means. One kilogram is the heftiness of a chihuahua. One gram is the heftiness of a dollar bill. One milligram is the heftiness of a grain of salt. One microgram is the of a human ovum. One nanogram is the of a human cell. One picogram is the of the DNA strands in said human cells. And one femtogram is the of a single HIV virus. Anything lower than this and the only things less heavy than Ralph are mostly just various molecules. With all of that said, Wreck-It Ralph has the same impact on the fabric of the universe as HIV. Do what you will with this precious cursed information. Until you click on the next video of mine you click on, I'm the Theorizer. Make sure to watch Wreck-It Ralph's movie, because when you do, you witness him from his perspective. If you watch it on an HD TV, then you might just increase his weight to that of human DNA if you merely observe him.